Hey, so me and this dude have been best friends since we were kids. I'm Alan. I write graphic novels for a living. That's Victor. He does TV and film production. We're finally making a feature-length film together, and we're inviting you to join us. This is Making Our First Movie. Here's a trip back from uh, Trinidad, Colorado, and we, we also went to Raton, New Mexico. But we got to hang out in Trinidad. We were doing, um, like, scouting locations with our producers. Yeah. Janelle and Elizabeth. Yeah, it was a good look, man. Um, the local producers here in Trinidad, they came on and they are amazing. Um, yes. They read the script. Um, we got introduced to them via some um, government officials here um, between um, New Mexico, Raton, and um, right here in Trinidad, um, Colorado, and they turned out to be a really, really great asset to the, um, to the team and to this film. six months with these characters trying to like write them and make them fully realize and that there was something in the script that resonated with you both enough to come on and help us bring it to life which is is dope it makes me happy <laughs> thank yeah. you yeah. thank yeah. you for writing it and inviting us to work with you guys definitely um it, it, it is a pleasure to have you guys on board i mean it is an absolute split to spend this past weekend with you guys it's been really cool i know you personally right? <laughs> you guys are cool people. this could definitely work um, put some punk rock stickers on. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the things I really love about this script is it it builds empathy and understanding. It's an olive branch across the aisle in both directions, and I think we have a lot of stories that are kind of one side or another side. What this script does is it helps build bridges. You know, I've told you I've got three black siblings. Um, there's a whole lot of understanding I have on both sides, and some of that understanding has been shaded in kind of on the rural America side, white America side. Like, I'm just getting to know some of that story in a new way, and I think if we can create some organic experiences that people haven't had the opportunity to experience yet in their lives, I think that we can do that in real life while we're here and in a way that brings the film to life. We've encountered for the stuff that we can be selling. A little lounge area, a consultation room, and a dressing room. Oh, that's awesome. Generally, uh, the director is responsible for the look of the film, and the producer is responsible for making sure the director has everything that they need to get the look they want. Okay, you have access to this one. Does this be some sort of office that they do? Line up these mid century modern oddities and then old school. Jeez. Well, it feels like things are coming together, man. We're marching forward to victory. And we also got a new EP on board, executive producer, oh, yes. um, Luis, over at Red Line Gallery up in, um, up in Denver. Um, she's really bringing some resources to the table to make this happen. We mentioned her in one of our earlier episodes yeah. that we um, financed and fell through because of the pandemic. Um, but someone else hopped on board and she's really pulling through to make this thing happen. And they're gonna help us make this film. So, I mean, the resources are coming together. Um, our crew is coming together. Locations have definitely come together. Yeah. Um, we're making this movie. All right, well, uh, it's hailing, I guess. Yeah. So we got to concentrate on the road. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> right on. KZI 9 News reporter Chris Lewinberg followed the protest overnight as it developed from rage and frustration to lawlessness. A protest illuminated by fire. Breathe. I can't breathe. It's not black versus white. It's not black versus anybody. It is white and black and every other race versus racism. 
So we gonna come together, we gonna march peacefully, we gonna do whatever we gotta do. But we will not have peace until there is justice. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No peace. No peace.